Amelia, thank you for agreeing to do this interview. I'm a little nervous. Really? How so? <laughs> Cameras, people watching, kind of um, feeling the pressure, you know? What I actually mean is, some people may be asking how it's possible for you to even feel nervousness uh, considering what you are. How did you feel when you realized that you were no longer human? Amelia Summerland's coma patient. Diagnosis of locked-in syndrome. She's the best candidate we've got. Amelia's got maybe a few more months, maybe, but there's still time. Every day, we learn new ways to conquer the limits of the human body. I think I might be able to help. We're offering you the chance to see her, to hold her again. If I say yes, what happens? You would give consent on your wife's behalf to this procedure. Insiders suggest something big on the horizon for the multi-million... We might be able to intercede before the moment of death and rescue a person's consciousness before it's lost forever. What we're working on is going to change the world. What they've built, it's not your wife. It's emotional manipulation. Have her on a remote control? It's not like that. <laughs> This isn't right. She was at peace. Carter, please. Where is Amelia? The skin is ripping from my fingertips. Amelia Summerland. Humanity's first and quite possibly last embodiment of such an awe-inspiring question. The wood is cracked, the sound is caving in. What is consciousness? I know you're not her. When I look at you, it's almost the same. You know instinctively that you need to defend something valuable and precious. Carter, it's me. No, Amelia, my wife had a soul. I have a soul.